Three of the world's most dangerous fish. Hey guys, Valencia is here with another video. Many people around the world depend on fishes or products made from fishes for their food and economic life like herd. More than 30,000 different species ply earth ocean and bodies of fresh water. The beauty of many fish species is highlighted in fish stores, aquariums, and in home collections. Some species, however, have darker, more terrifying aspects. A select few of these may attack human beings, while others might deliver a dose of poison when handled carelessly or not properly prepared for consumption. Below, we give a three of the world's most dangerous fish. Number one, we have a puffer. The puffer, which is also called swell fish or blow fish, is any member of group of about 19 species of fishes of the family Tetraodon today. Not for the ability when disturbed to inflate themselves so greatly with air and water that they become globular in form. Puffers are found in warm and temperate regions around the world, primarily in the sea, but also in some intenses in brackish or fresh water. They have though, usually prickly skins and fused teeth that from a big like structure with a split in the center of each jaw. The large puffers grow about 19 centimeters, three feet long but most are considerably smaller. Many species are run poisonous, a highly toxic substance, tetradoxin is especially concentrated in internal organs. Although this substance can cause death, Puffers are sometimes used as food. In Japan, where the fishes are called fugu, they must be carefully cleaned and prepared by a specially trained chef. Number 2. We have a red lion fish. Lion fishes or pterosaurs make up any of several species of showy Indo-Pacific fishes of the scorpion fish family. Scorpionidae or their scorpioniformers. They are known for their venomous fin spinis, which are capable of production painful, though rarely fatal, punch their wounds. The fishes have enlarged pectoral fins and elongated dorsal fin spinis and each species bears a particular pattern of both several like strippers. When disturbed, the fish spread and display their fins and if further preset, will present an attack with the dorsal penis. One of the best known species is the red lion fish, Terius folitans, an impressive fish sometimes kept by fish fanciers. It is stripped with red, brown, and white and grows to about 30 centimeters or 12 inches long. The red lion fish is native to South Pacific red ecosystem. In the early 21 ST century, the species became established in ref ecosystems along the eastern seaboard of the United States, in the Gulf of Mexico, and in the Caribbean Sea. Its rapid rate of reproduction combined with the absence of natural enemies in those regions result in its decimation of local rare fishes and its designation as invasive species. Wildlife managers suspect the lionfish were deliberately released by pet owners into the ocean along Florida Atlantic's coast starting in the 1918, but the mates to pet stores 
caused by Hurricane Andrew in 1992 may have also allowed others to escape. Number 3. We have the Great White Shark. The White Shark, Carcharodon carcarius, which is also called Great White Shark or White Pointer, may be the fish that needs no introduction because it is one of the most powerful and potentially dangerous predatory shark in the world. Starring as the villain of movies such as Jaws, 1975, the white shark is much maligned and public feared. However, surprisingly little is understood of its life and behavior. According to the fossil record, the modern species has been around since roughly 18 till 12 million years ago, during the middle of the Miocene epoch. But its ancestor may date back to at least the ocean epoch about 560 till 34 million years ago. In the areas where they are most common, white sharks are responsible for numerous unprovocated and sometimes fatal attacks on swimmers, divers, surfers, kayakers, and even small boats. A white shark tends in an inflict a shingle bite on its human victim and then retreat. In many instances, however, the shark rarely returns for a second bite. And the victim suffer of moderate bite. He or she may have time to seek safety. In situation where a large bite occurs, however, serious tissue and organ damage may result in the death of the victim. A review of white shark attacks of Western United States show that about 7% of attacks were fatal, but data from other locations such as South Africa such fatality rates more than 20%. Fatality rates as high as 60% have been recorded from attacks in the waters of Australia. Many researchers maintain that attacks on human steam from the shark curiosity. In contrast, other authorities contend that these attacks may be the result of the shark, mistaking human for its natural prey such as seals and sea lions. It is possible that white shark intend to attack humans where their normally prey may be scarce. So that's our three of the world's most dangerous fish. I hope you found this video helpful and if so, please leave a thumbs up as I always appreciate that. Also, please feel free to leave a comment suggestion for future videos or question you have as we love getting to respond to as many of those as we can. And if you subscribe to the channel, welcome to our Balance Your Family. We've got lots more videos coming your way. So until then, Stay safe, stay awesome, and I'll see you in the next video.